Hey guys, Thunder E here and the Galaxy Fold is back. I've been waiting for this device to come back. I loved my experience with the Fold, but Samsung has made some changes to improve and ensure that the issues they had with reviewers doesn't happen to you. So let's go ahead and find out. So at EFA 2019, Samsung just announced that the Fold will be available this month, starting uh, tomorrow, September 6th in Korea, uh, and then other dates which I'll mention for Europe and of course the United States. Now we have Daniel over at EFA and he got his hands on the Galaxy Fold. And here are some of the improvements Samsung has made to this device. So the very first thing is that at the very uh, edges of the screen by the hinge, there was a little gap there uh, which could have allowed dust to go in and Samsung has put caps to ensure that doesn't happen and also to make sure that no one has the ability to take off the screen protector. So that's something that is new and different with of course the revamped fold and I think it's a solid idea. I had no issues when I actually checked out the fold but this is something to ensure that this device stays solid. Now, Samsung also added metal uh, structural support underneath the display to give it a more rigid feel when it's open. So when you open up that display into 7.3 inches, it feels really solid across the board, not as flexible in terms of just the softness uh, of the display, but so far it looks really good and uh, we'll have to see that when we get our hands on it. Now, the other thing too is also they improve the snappier, snap, snappiness of the hinge. So the hinge feels snappier when you open and close it. It feels, some people say, as you've seen, it feels more like a, uh, a premium device, less like a prototype. So we'll have to wait and see. I thought the original fold felt solid, uh, but we'll see with this device. Now, I did a lot of videos on the original fold, did some gaming videos, uh, looked at some functionality. I wanna ask you guys, what would you like to see on the Galaxy Fold once we get it in hand here? Now, in terms of launch dates, it's gonna be launching September, uh, 6th again in Korea, September 17th in Germany, um, uh, the UK, and I believe um, Singapore, and the US is coming on the 27th, so the US is actually coming later. I believe this is just to ensure that it falls after the iPhone launch, which of course is launching roughly around the 20th or so, we know that's, that's for a fact. But I'm excited to get my hands back on the Galaxy Fold, and I want to know what would you guys like me to cover on this device? Uh, I did some gaming. I can do more gaming on this device. We can check out different games on here, uh, functionality, um, and also just diff different use cases. And of course, I will have my full review after 30 days using the Galaxy Fold. But I'm glad to see this is back. Now, some people will say, hey, do we need a Fold? Do we not need a Fold? I say it's it's necessary because this will change the way we use smartphones. Uh, and I like the fact that they're experimenting with different form factors. They didn't get it right out, out, the, out of the gate. And I know, you know, that's a good thing because now they can fix issues. And this helps other manufacturers make sure they don't fall into the same trap. So we'll have to wait and see. But guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd like me to cover on the Galaxy Fold. If you have any questions or any comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.